In 2017, the propane industry hit an important milestone for propane auto gas school buses. Bluebird delivered its 10,000th propane powered school bus. For those in the know about propane, this accomplishment wasn't surprising. Over the last couple of decades, propane buses have become an easy choice for schools looking to reduce emissions while lowering their total cost of ownership. When you get 10,000 buses out there, you know this is a significant milestone. It means it's a mainstream product, people accept it. We're, we're past the point of customers wondering if this is an experiment, if it's a bridge fuel. It means that we've gotten to a point where districts are accepting that it's a viable fuel source. Why are more and more districts turning to propane? Because unlike conventional fuels like diesel, propane offers schools the benefits they need, both to fit the budget and to keep their communities happy. Only propane offers the lowest total cost of ownership with the cleanest operation. And for today's school transportation departments, that's a big deal. Really, we started in school buses for a single issue. Really, that was emission. We know that particulate matter is a problem for children's lung health Parents are more demanding now. They want to see that their children are getting on buses that are clean, they're green, the emissions levels are at the lowest they can be. Students are savvy today. They know that these engines are a lot more emissions friendly than your diesel engine. So they know that we're not pumping all this bad stuff into the atmosphere. Really, it starts with total cost of ownership. The emissions profile could be the best, but if you can't afford to make this transition without grants or incentives, it really is not sustainable. So the fact that they can save a bunch of money from a fuel perspective, from a maintenance perspective, really is where it has to start. From a district standpoint, as they always have increasingly contracting budgets, when you look at propane, it's the best TCL leader in the industry. Fulton County, they're gonna save in fuel and maintenance costs $3,500 a year per bus versus a diesel engine. Over the 15 year life, that's a saving, you're ready for this, $4.5 million. To a public entity, a municipality, having the ability to reduce their costs 30 to 40% from their other traditional fuels is just incredibly powerful. Having savings from their fleet cost translates directly to more teachers or even facilities. So we are really excited about this 10,000th bus. We see that three to four years out will be the dominant fuel in school bus transportation. And it's the exact effect that we hope to see and we're glad that we're seeing it. The future of propane in the school bus market is really bright. The sales cycle is becoming much shorter now because peers in the student transportation market are talking to each other. When you look at the right energy source for the right duty cycle and vocation, propane just is a perfect match for for student transportation. What it means for everybody, I think it's, it's recognized propane's here, it's here for good, and it still is, in my opinion, the best value for the school bus out on the road today, no question. With a reputation like that, the demand for propane is expected to continue growing, driving the future for more students across the U.S.